bringing you guys the daily sports. Getting closer and closer to daily. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm also getting closer and closer to 2K subscribers. So, if you're not subscribed, change that right now. And hit the subscribe button. Make sure you like. Make sure you comment. Let's talk. We got stuff to talk about. We got some Eagles news. Okay? So, obviously, we're still looking for a head coach. We got a lot of things. To, we got a lot on our plate right now as birds because we need a head coach. We need a defensive coordinator. We need to figure out what we're doing in the draft. We need to figure out what we're doing with Carson or Jalen. <laughs> we got a lot of free agents to cut, and we're going to be getting into that soon. Or a lot of free agents to, you know, not give them the dotted line anymore. Whatever you, however you want to, however you want to phrase it. So today we're going to talk about a coaching candidate that's given very much Doug Peterson. Okay? And Sports Illustrated just reported that we, so it was recently we just reached out to interview Eric Bieniemy. He hasn't been hired yet, so I don't know why we haven't hired him. I mean, why? I don't know. I was nervous the Falcons were going to get him, and they didn't get him. Um, the Jags didn't get him. The Jets didn't get him. So I'm like, we're being blessed right now. Like, the basketball, I mean, I said the basketball. Football guys are like, here, here's a great head coach candidate. Here, Eagles, here. And we're just completely ignoring him. I don't know why we haven't hired him. Anyway. Let's talk about, we're going to talk about Deuce Daly, and we're going to talk about Mike Kafka. Now, let's first talk about Mike, because Mike is giving big Doug vibes. If you don't know who Mike is, okay, he's the quarterback's coach, which he just got that title this past season, and the passing game coordinator for the Kansas City Chiefs. He's never had an offensive, coach, offensive coordinating experience, which usually, you know, you got to you gotta move up in the ranks, okay? And... He's only 33 years old. He's only been coaching for about three years. Guys, he used to play for the Eagles. We drafted him in 2010. Okay? He played quarterback. Sound like Doug, right? He played quarterback for the Eagles. We drafted him in 2010. He didn't get any playing time in 2010. 2011, he got um, playing time in four games. Throughout those four games, he was 0 for 2. 0 touchdowns, 2 interceptions. Now, is that the passing game? I'm just playing. <laughs> but what kind of model passing game coordinator are you? just playing but you know they try to act like oh he developed Patrick Mahomes did he develop Patrick Mahomes or did Andy Reid and Eric the enemy or did Patrick Mahomes just is already a baby stud like you really got to look into that the guy barely has any coaching experience he just got the he's only been coaching three years and the old in those three years he's been under Andy Reid one of the best offensive coaches so is it Mike or is it Kansas City is it Travis Kelsey is it the Cheetah Come on now. Like, Mike is getting way too much credit, in my opinion. And he's giving Big Doug. Jeff, Howie, if you wanted Doug Peterson to stay, just say that. Because this guy is giving Doug. Used to play for the Eagles. Played, um, coached under Andy Reid. Former quarterback. If we wanted to keep Doug, heck, we could have kept him. Now, let's talk about Deuce Daly. And Sports Illustrated is reporting that we're heavily interested in Mike. Boo! That's not my coach. That's not my coach. I'm telling you guys now. That's not my coach. Now, he can go and try to be... Now, mind you, we tried to um, uh, get him as an offensive coordinator, I think, last year or the year before, and Andy Reid blocked it. I don't know why, but he said Now, let's talk about Deuce Daly, a guy we've been pump faking for a while now, okay? Because Deuce is somebody who's been trying. He's definitely been moving up in the race. He's been in the organization for a very long time, and a lot of players have a lot of great things to say about Deuce Deuce. Um, obviously, right now, he's our running backs coach, and he also has the title of assistant head coach. Now, Deuce Daly, he's, like I said, I'm going to put the tweets up here. Malcolm Jenkins was singing his praises. So, we definitely, Malcolm Jenkins is a guy who was like a supreme leader for us and is now a leader on the Saints. So, that's definitely a guy that I'm interested in his opinion. Also, Deuce, um, he interviewed for several promotions, like offensive coordinator for several um, several times, and he kept getting hit with the pump fake, and we never hired him as offensive coordinator. Although this past season, we did give him the title of assistant head coach, and when Doug Peterson had COVID-19, he did step up as head coach. So, Deuce Deuce about that life, okay? Deuce used to play running back for the Eagles um, in 97 to 2003, and he's also won a Super Bowl with the Pittsburgh Steelers. Okay? So he got a ring. He's trying to help us get another. He got his ring. And that's the big winning energy I want to see. Mike, did you excel at your position? You were a quarterback. Did you excel at quarterback? No. Deuce, deuce, though, he's excelled 
at his position on the field. So I'm really interested in us. Obviously, I want Eric B. Enemy, number one, but the guys have so much respect for Deuce and getting an internal. Now, if, I know originally I said I didn't want an internal guy, but it could go, it could be pros and cons. Deuce has been fighting his way up the ranks, and also the players have exceptional things to say about Deuce. They say he commands leadership, like once he comes to the locker room, it's. <laughs> oh, this I don't know if it's that type of shit, but they, he definitely got the respect. All I'm saying, guys, here is please let's not get Mike. Please let's not get Mike. Please! We're going to leave Eric and freaking Deuce on the board to get Mike? That's like drafting um, JJ Ortega over DK. Anyways, guys, let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, make sure you comment, and make sure you keep rocking on the channel.